All right, guys, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to set up the material that you download it. Download it, put it somewhere where you know where it's going to be. Go to File, go to Append File. Once you find out where it was and you click on the actual Blender file, you're going to go here to uh, let me back up so I can quickly show you. You're going to click on Node Tree and then click on Plastic. And then you'll go ahead and, and pin that in there. I already have it. And then I, I just quickly threw in a Suzanne head. Then we'll go into Shading where you just drop in a new material. And then you go to Add. And then right here, it's going to be in your groups, plastic, okay? Then we can go ahead and kill this universal material, drop this inside there, and then bada bing, bada boom, you should have this material here, right? And again, it's really based off on what your, your actual 3D object is. If you're, you're using like a small cup or something, it's going to look better. The Suzanne is really thick and big, so it's not really the best example to show this. But the fogginess is going to control how foggy, basically, like it says, the plastic is going to be. If I set that to one, it's going to be like the uh, super clear plastic, right? So something like that. Let's kind of zoom in here on this ear, this area. It's going to be like a super clear plastic. And then again, if I go to 10, it's going to get a little bit more foggy. So you can play with that value. And then we have the color. So if you want to add some color into that, you can add color. There it is. That's the color for the color plastic. And then also you have the roughness. So you can take this up to one if you want it to be really rough or you want it to be really smooth and shiny. You could take that and put that down to zero. Now, also here, fake shadows. If it's if it's running hard on your system, again, this is more true accurate. You can turn on fake shadows, which I typically normally do. And now it, it basically fakes the, the shadows or the way that the refraction is happening, right? It's easier on your on your system. And um, I actually kind of like the way it looks preferably with this on here. And then again, you might need to retweak your values here. So if we go to one, there it is again. And then, you know, you can add some roughness and just go like 0.5 on the roughness. So there we go. We got our foggy material. So if you're to dive into this material and actually see what it looks like, it's super easy, guys. Basically, it's a specular material. And then within the specular material, I have this scatter node and then the scatter values are basically everything is pretty much almost stock. And that's all I that's all it is, basically. So it's just an easier, quick setup. You know, so I always just throw this in there and boom, it's ready to go. So now one other quick tip that you need to kind of take note when you're using this plastic material, you're going to need to basically crank up your scatter depth right now in this preview is not going to really give you justification in this preview, but you're going to need to. And based on your model, what you're using, you're going to really need to crank these values up. Like typically I'm like always above 20. If I'm using this plastic material, you'll just look at it. And sometimes you might have like, it was not really showing up on this model here in particular, but you may have this black, like black lining or something inside. And that's basically the light rays bouncing and they've reached an end. And that means they need more data. So you would just crank up your samples here. And some of them I even have as high as maybe 36 on some of my renders to get that black little black line out of there to get a clean render. And the same thing, you might want to crank up your glossiness. Okay. So keep note of that. You're going to need to bump up your specular depth a little bit. So other than that, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have fun. Just a little free shader there. I'm going to probably start pumping out some more shaders and stuff like that and just to share with the community because it took me a while to figure out how to get a really cool plastic and this kind of just helps me to get it in and get it done really fast and quick. So hope you guys enjoy. Take a look at the gu uh, the gum road. I got some other stuff and there's some VFX tracking videos you guys might like and stuff like that. Lots more coming. Thanks for support, guys. Patrick LeVar, keep rendering. It's the only way you'll get better. Peace.